I say we go for a rope start. A little bit of fuel in there. Zoom bottles. They're called zoom bottles. Everybody's still asking. Zoom oil dock bottles. Let's go give that a little. How many pulls do you think? I got my guess, but I'm going to keep it to myself. That way I can say I was right. <laughs> One? What do you think? Shall we? <laughs> All right, she's a runner. Let's get into that carburetor. I don't think there's much holding that carb on there other than two screws. Clean the cock out of it first. There we go. Now we're in. Good. Hopefully the bowl comes apart as easy as that did. We shall see. We'll, see. we'll bring it over onto the bench and uh, we'll dissect the carb. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh, yeah, she's got. String. It's like somebody tied string. Some wire, some string. This little bit of that. Alright, let's go crack her open. I don't know if we're going to have to unthread that first. I think we are. That is a adjustment for the main fuel mix. It chokes off or opens up the main. We're probably going to have to pull that all the way out first. We should set ourselves up with a new magnetic tray, too, for all the parts. I'm not sure if they had to come out first or not. Sorry about that. I tripped over you. Let's uh, find out right now. Yeah, that had to come out. It's a bit of packing. As you tighten down on the gland nut, it puts more and more pressure on it. And I'm not sure on this carb if that needle comes all the way through sorry that jet comes all the way through and let's go see we should probably let's try it see if it turns if not we'll come back with some spray I want to thank take a minute to thank all the guys that have been sending stuff to me uh, I haven't been putting it on video and, and doing show and tell just due to my preference but i do want to take a minute just to thank everybody that has been sending stuff the rags down below the screwdriver you see in my hand those kind of things uh, the care package just came that hole's open those are that's pretty gummy over there yeah so that would have stopped us from probably getting it out of there we're gonna find out right now this should be the on the idle mix. And four screws. But yeah, I definitely want to say thank you guys for uh, sending me the things that you send me. Really appreciate it. Truthfully, really uh, appreciate it. It's a little overwhelming. We think we're gonna get I would definitely say it's been sitting long enough where um, the ethanol fuel was not available so it won't have those kind of problems so I'm hoping it's just gummy and not that white powdery kind of one came out a little chalky dun, 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 dun. You know, hopefully you don't need anything because I don't think I have anything for this carb. I 
It's a crack. You ready? Oh, the gasket's holding this up. Foiled, I tell you. Come on. You can't break that. Well, we can break it, but I don't want to break it. Let's go get ourselves a putty knife. Take a second and work from the side that is already lifted. Let's see if we can get that off of there. Okay, we're in. Yeah, pile of rust. Pile of rust. What's that down the center of it? <laughs> What's that? Chances are the float's still good, you think. You can see it moves, you can get that pin out of there. Wrong tool for the right job. Her needle nose would be. We'll, we'll throw that in the parts washer and we will see if it's still good. Look too bad. Again, just that rust that's sitting down there. <laughs> Time for a bath. And everybody in the pool. Except for the needle. The needle I'm gonna leap out. Floats floating, that's a good sign. So we shake it up. We'll let that do its thing for a little while. Come back and hopefully have a nice clean car. Well, not that we can't run it off a auxiliary tank, but let's see what we can do for trying to save this one. And we'll start with the fuel shut off. It's got a, it's called a sediment bowl. And that allows you to kind of look in. Maybe in the olden days, or they may have had more problem with you know crappy fuel. No, actually, I, I take that back. We have more of a problem with crappy fuel since they put ethanol in it. Let's get the bale off of there. And look into the sediment bowl. It's got sediment in the sediment bowl doing its job, right? What about... So we are not going to have that cork gasket, I know that for a fact. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we can probably get away with an O-ring for a short period of time. We have a biting ring, it should hold up. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's see if we can unthread that from the tank, and we'll throw that in the ultrasonic cleaner too. Might as well let it clean up, right? Throw that in there too. I'm gonna to leave the cork on there for now, just for the remote possibility that the fluid kind of rejuvenates it. I'm sure that's gonna chip out of there like, you know, a petrified rock if I go to touch it. But let's go with that, the bowl, and the valve. Actually, we'll throw all of it in there, right? Let it do its thing. Let's hit the tank with some air. See what kind of comes out. <laughs> I may want to do that outside. Yeah, I want to put some kind of very hardware in there. Let me see if we can block up the, the drain. So it'll hold fluid for a little bit. Then shake it all about. Have you seen the guys that they um They'll take the, whatever they're doing, like a gas tank like this, and they'll fill it with 
fluid and hardware or rocks or pebbles or they take a bungee cord and they strap it to a tire on a car. They put the car in gear and they just let the tank <laughs> agitate around. It's so cold out. Let me give that a trick. But uh, it is 20 degrees out. We're going to do our best to hang out in the garage. Think that'll stay? I need a bigger ball, don't I? Yeah. It's coming out the gas cap hole right about now. <laughs> yeah. Love these old engines. It's nice. The stuff you could take the stuff apart. The basic tools and a lot of times no parts. Get Let's go fill that with some hardware, some fluid, and shake it all about. Let's go with brass nuts, see if we can drop these all over the floor. Probably better off putting them in my hand. One. Okay, more than that. Get to wash my nuts at the same time. Let's go fill her up. Hey, there's my cup. My cup, my cup. Been looking for that. Those are your last time to use the horse water. Yeah, let's give her. We don't have to fill it, but. Think about that. Because you kind of want it to swoosh around pretty good. Plus, we can find any leaks that we have. You know what's next? A whole lot of that. Five minutes later. It's definitely darker than. Look in the light right now, see, see how it looks. Tell me you're getting aggravated by the gas cap being in the way. <laughs> yeah, me too. It looks pretty good. I'm sure it could use more time. In the, uh, can I hold it behind the camera maybe? Yeah, let's try that. Over your head, I'll hold it over your head. You can always tie it to a tire. We go round and around for an hour. I think that'll serve us just fine. You think I'll blow a booger out of the uh, fuel line? Let's go find out. Pretty clean. So let's try to go ID this thing a little bit better. I believe it's a 5S. Not sure of that. I want to go look for where the notification is, the identification number is rather. And I think it's supposed to be on the engine pull start tin, but I don't see it anywhere on there. So it could have been removed when that gas tank got fabricated. I also took a second and marked each side of the pulley and it's a 6 to 1. What did I say before? 9 to 1? I can count. <laughs> 6 to 1 on the gear reduction. That uh, ultrasonic cleaner is about ready to shut off. Let's go get those parts out of there and start reassembling. Oh, and dates, uh, I think 1949 to 57 they were made, right around there. So uh, we'll call it 50s. And it just shut off. Let's see what we got. I think I was getting ready to start knocking a bunch of the paint off. And on the second floor, let's 
We'll get those out of there. We'll rinse them off in a parts washer. Okay, so that's the gasket that was on the bowl. I could probably use it over. It actually came back a little too much. It's kind of on the soft side and it's ready to blow out right there. Grabbed a couple of O-rings. This one's a hair too small. This one's a little on the snug side. Let's get the bowl. Okay, we're going to clean all that out. Let's see which one sits on there better. So we go with that one probably. It's got the bail that's going to go over it. Once we got enough room. I should have a little disc that that sits on. There we go. Wait for a second. It might be in the parts washer. Yep, there it is. I'm paranoid about dropping that glass bowl and having it smash on the floor. I figure I say it now in case it happens. So I keep a rug down below us. It's pretty good, huh? I think we'll be alright with that. We could probably do a pressure test. Three openings to block off. Seems fine. So we got the little shut off. This just looks like it goes metal on metal. Wrong wrench. That's probably the same way. It's probably got packing in it. Too tight because I can't turn it. I think the more you tighten that, the tighter it packs the packing around it so it won't leak. I didn't take that apart, but I don't want to screw with it. We're going to leave that in the open position. It feels pretty sloppy. So I'm going to call that closed. I'm going to call that open. And I'll give it a little. Let's see if we should be able to blow through it again. We can. I think we're good. This just threads onto the bottom of the gas tank, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's get that car back together. One too many coffees today. Let's look a little on the low side. I like to see that level. Let's go blow through it. <laughs> Seems okay. I'm going to leave it alone. Fuel level might be a little on the high side, but I'm going to leave it alone. I don't think we have anything else that goes together. So that's on there. I do want to hit those with an air gun. I thought I did. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's do it again. Good. Put 
was four in. Nice simple stuff to work on. I think what gets most people screwed up is not pulling that jet out. Okay, what was the deal? What's the deal with that fourth one looking like that? That was out of something else, wasn't it? Hmm. Was that in there? I don't remember. We'll put everything else together. If that's the last sole survivor, that's by itself that's going in there. Lay on the right side. So most of the fuel goes through that. And then you adjust how much fuel can go through it by ramming that needle up against the other half of that. And we're gonna go again packing. Wash us the packing material. Was it I believe it was should be a taper on it. I think it goes like that. Look at that better. I think it's backwards. That's why I need the microscope. Well, magnifying glass. Okay, threads are towards the top. So the threads go towards the top. So it was like that. Again, that'd probably be much more pliable when it was new. I don't want to deform it. Got threads on the outside. I'm trying to run it in like a screw. It's going to just fight me the whole way. <laughs> I say go. Let's see if we can run it in with the carbon. Okay. You get a thread started on it, it'll just run itself right up in there. You guys want to see me struggle with this anymore? You're good. All else fails. Shove a screwdriver down inside it. Now I got it. I'm gonna kind of run that up for a second and let the packing get all the way pushed up to the top and then back it off. Right. Watch me not get that one in there now. I'm going to run that until it touches. And it's a half. It's one. It's one and a half. Yeah. We'll go right around there. That'll be our starting point. Let's go and throw the idle one in, which was up top. There it is. Do the same with that. And that is the only screw left over, so that must have been one of the ones somewhere in its lifetime it got lost. Is that going to be a bad spot for it by the throttle? Let's see. That looks like a, a carburetor. Uh, is that really in there? Why did I think that? I do not remember seeing that. It just seems totally out of place to me. 
at the same token, I don't see where it would have went. Or, hmm. we're going with it. Make a look at my stash, see if I have another screw I can put in there. I don't like that. So let's go pop one of these back out. I'm going to go look at it. Find another one that matches it. And fix it. We got a little bit of style, huh? Got a brass one. Much better. Let's get them installed and put some gas in this puppy. So I looked on the intake manifold side of things and there was no gasket on it. I had these laying around. These are a little shy on the hole, on the outer diameter holes. So I think what we'll do is we'll just cheat and do a little some of that. That almost made it back in the carburetor, didn't it? See if we can sneak that in there and bolt it up. We're also going to put a, th uh, a spring, a return spring on the throttle, which is here. That's so. This will be the idle speed. That screw is, hits a stop. But we need a return spring of some sort to kind of hold it in one position. We'll crank this up a little so that I don't want to rev on the higher side. Then we'll dial it in. Plus you need a little bit of throttle for it to be able to start. Yeah, that's what we're going with. Think it's gonna leak out the bottom? Oh. We won't get overzealous, shall we? As long as it covers, and it does. The float bowl's all, sediment bowl's filled up. See if you see anything dripping out of the other side of the carb. I thought I had that in far enough to block it. Guess not. You can see the fuel in it. It's getting a little wet around the bowl. Those top ones aren't tight. I got a spring on the throttle to return the throttle. It's up a little high, so when I go to fire it up, you can hear me, watch me, dancing around between these screws, the main and the uh, idle, until I uh, get a good, nice, uh, smooth run out of it. You'll hear it. Hopefully, it starts up. Let's get a rope on it and uh, see what she does. All right, I didn't take those two screws up yet. Jumping ahead, just jumping ahead. Now we can. Should probably put the choke on. And I don't think it'll go the first time. I think it'll take a second to prime it to get some fuel in it, but who knows. Shall we? Gas is literally pouring out of the bottom. That's not a good sign. Try to run it, see if we shake her loose. Choke's open. Yeah, she's a dripping. We gotta go back into that carb. You don't see it aren't playing well. Yeah. Pushing raw fuel out, flooded. Tapped on the bowl and it stopped. I think. I think it might be fairly flooded. We're gonna find out. Yeah, it's got a lot of fuel sitting down in there. I'm determined not to get the drill. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Give her just a little more intake. Or shove something underneath there. She screams. Remind me to take that out of there. Make 
make sure I have a screwdriver close enough, like in my back pocket. Ah, keep going. I know you're flooded, but keep going. Let's clear out. <laughs> I think I can, I think I can. How many you went for the drill already? That's wide open. Let's try shutting the try closing the main up a little. Why does that feel like it's a lot further than one and a half? I know, I gotta go back in. Time. You were right there, why didn't you tell me? Let's see if we could sneak it out without pulling that jet out. I know in the bigger carb you can't do that. I'm not sure on this one. We're gonna go find out right now. I can keep the screw on the screwdriver. We're gonna readjust that float. That float is also metal on metal. I flipped it over, blew through it, it was okay. But then when I took it off the machine and I went to go blow through it, and it I was able to push through. So something's up with it. Think it'll come apart? Nope. We have to totally get it apart. Yeah. Answers that question, huh? Okay. Feels all right. I just think I don't like the, the bail too. We are going to try to polish that up, and we're going to adjust that float so that float is sitting a little bit more level. I don't know if you can see it or not on that needle. The end of that has a lot of chatter. That thing's been vibrating around in there for a long time. It shows up. Yeah, I'm gonna look and see if I have one. I doubt it. Well, let's go see. Find something. Those are all later. It's got more of a shoulder on top. What about that one? Yeah. The one that we have is. We're going with what we got. So I'm going to go take the tab on the float and bend it up. 
and see if we can get a level. Get on the level. You know what? I want to. I want to polish that first. Yeah, a little bit. Of valve lapping compound. I said a little. Not that much. We'll put that right down the. Polish up the center of that. Okay, another one, we'll clean that up. Put it back together. So I took that needle out and adjusted that float. You can see how it's more level. Um, I took the, the bale, the little wire piece that holds the needle to the float. And I think the, the issue is they're afraid if it falls down too far, you know, the pink and the needle can fall out. How fast are you, right? I'm going to assemble that back together upside down because that float can only fall down so far within that chamber. And we're going to go bounce it around and make sure it's okay before we put it back together. Worst case, I'll put that back in. But I have a feeling that that might have been um, getting racked a little sideways and, and binding up. I'm also not positive that that's the correct needle for that. I have a feeling somebody might have put something in there because it just seems a fairly little loose uh, from side to side. Let's go turn the gas on. Well, help. Hopefully, we don't see it flood over. Choke on, choke off. Let's try it with the choke off first. That would be off. Ready to roll? <laughs> if it was running on what was left in it. Carb's still dry. Actually, it's got a ton of choke. Huh, maybe. Yeah, that should be more than enough throttle. Probably a third, at least. At least a third. Let's <laughs> open the door. See the bottom of the carb's wet again. She's dripping. Yeah, a little. <laughs> we'll shut that fuel off. That might be what's causing it though. It's just flooding itself. I'm not sure we in. We're all the way in. Should be right around there. And we need our shim for the throttle. Probably out of gas. 
That's exactly what's going on there. Anyway. Carb fill up. And you find that sweet spot that goes, you know. We're going to be dancing back and forth between that, unfortunately. Of not being able to have just enough fuel to do what it needs to do. Runs up. I can see it's so soaking over right now. doing the, the partial The loss, of the trying to maintain the level of uh, fuel in the float ball. Give it another second. See if we can kind of keep screwing around, around with it. She'll at least dial in the idle. Runs up. Oh, that hurts so much. The, the handle is really, you know, that's off a lawnmower. Should have something long going across it. Kickback feels good though, I'll tell you that. Punch my knuckle. Because I want to hold against this <laughs> so the cable doesn't slide into you guys. When do you want to hold the table for me? I'm going to screw it a little bit more and then uh, see if we can get her to run.
go, slower to go. Bench is rattling. The rabbit's gonna die, I know it. But... Yep. <laughs> That's it, guys. If we were able to uh, maintain the fuel level, I think we could dial it right in, but. We are going to have to call that the best of the wind that we can. It is doing what uh, most of it should. It just needs a needle and seat. Other than that, it's a really good looking little engine. I'm happy with it. That's fun. I like bringing old crap back to life. 75 year old dinosaur breathing life. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you all for kind of hanging out in the garage with me and uh, having a little fun this afternoon. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll get together again soon. Now, until then, I'll see you. Bye, guys. I was going to see if the compression came up a little. <laughs> it's lower. <laughs> so the compression is like below 50, below 40, it's saying right now. What do you say we pop the head off and we take a look inside just for shits and giggles? I'm going to kind of guess to me, maybe it's got a blown head gasket. I thought I saw a little bit of puffing coming out of the side. Let's make sure we take it apart. Gently. I said. Want to see? You sneak that whole thing right out of there? No. Pretty wet. Now I give me the other valve. Eh. Long wore out engine. I do see a lot of oil, so it's probably pushing through the rings. The rings are probably uh, a tad on the stuck side. There I guess. Yeah, that's a little sloppy. <laughs> it's feathering at all.